Alright, ladies and gentlemen, everyone out there in the crowd, a warm welcome. And I'm very happy that you guys decided to tune in because today, and I hate to say it, it is the last qualifier of season 14. And I'm actually very, very excited here. And for that moment, I grabbed my boy, the one and only Avil himself, blessing us on the mic. Working in the background, preparing the rankings. Abel, what's up, brother? What's up? <laughs> what's up, what's up, what's up? What you don't get? Man, Abel, I have to say it how it is. It is crazy how time flies sometimes, right? Oh, yeah, Season definitely. 14 basically already finished. That means six weeks of sweat, aka six weeks of pain. For the players coming to an end and today we finally celebrate the last qualifier together for this season. That means today the last chance for every single player playing on stream and off stream to get into that top 16 spot on PS4 or to get into the top 8 on the PC side of things. And even if you are not in top 8, you have to light up a candle and hope for a dropout because that can always happen. But yeah, it is stacked this season. It is exciting. And I think today we're going to see some stellar fights, Abel. I took a little sneak peek at the lineup. Some cool names, some interesting characters as always. And you know what? Since we are on a tight schedule today, I don't want to let you guys wait. Let's take a look at it together because here it comes, Abel. And we start with the double K. Cash Smokes versus Kitty Khan. And I know that Kitty is happy to be back here. Our Kitana loyalist. A great co-host on top. Avil, this might be a close fight in round number one. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a great fight. I mean, Cash Smoke versus Kitty Khan. We have mm. KK versus KK without <laughs> Kitana Khan being on screen. It's gonna be a people, banger of a yeah, set. That's right. A lot of people always think that when we have Kitty Khan, they're like, wait, is that Kitana Khan? No, a different player. And Kitty Khan always brings the Kitana love. We don't have a lot of Kitanas here in the arena, unfortunately. But Kitty Khan, you know, a loyalist through and through. It's gonna be a great one, but so is the second fight, because we start with two NA showdowns. Cash Smokes Kitty Khan is the first one, and Xutix and that disgusting Raiden is coming back versus Wolverine, our collector from NA as well. Xutix lately playing out of his mind, able, very hard to beat, very consistent, and on top of that can play a lot of different characters here throughout Season 14. We have seen a lot. And I'm pretty sure that Xutex is going to deliver today. In my opinion, might be a hard one for Wolverine. But we're going to find that out very, very soon. Because today there are only PlayStation sets on stream. Usually we run PS4 and PC. But today this is going to be PS4 only. I mean, we don't really need to run some PC sets because PC is actually already set everything, right? Yes. It's only like in the top eight, they're maybe changing a little bit up, but that doesn't matter that yep. much, right? Because top eight is set. Nobody gets in there anymore. The closest team that still could, could get in there has like way too bad win ratio to get in there. That's Carney Money and Schoolman. So they're outside of top yes. eight. There might be a jump in if a team doesn't show up, but yeah, unfortunately, top eight on PC is already set. So today on PlayStation, it's actually pretty tight because you can see some drop off. You can see somebody sneak mm -hmm. themselves into top 16. So it's going to be very interesting. And Avil, I think we have to take a look at the ranking. Set number three might be the most important one tonight. You know what? We're going to do this on the fly together because I think MK Javier and Prodigy both of them are at the very, very edge of qualification. Let's take a look. Where are they at? And look at it, Avil. Right now, Prodigy, rank number 16. And if MK Javier wins this set, then he is gonna kick Prodigy out of top 16, out of the finals. This oh, is yeah. gonna be the blockbuster set of the day. All eyes on both players. And here you can really see how much the win ratio matters. MK Javier 71%. And he is gonna jump right into rank number 15. That means Divine then on spot 16 and Prodigy 
for him, two days journey would definitely be over. Oh yeah. So you gotta, Prodigy really gotta buckle up and he uh, gotta make sure he stays in that top yes. 16 because he wants to have this top 16 place. He worked hard for it, Rips. He, he did. And Prodigy, a phenomenal player. Today, the clash of titans for the spot in grand finals. We got Cargo and young Milo back in action as well. And then last but not least, Crazy J versus Star Xavier, and that means Sub Zero versus one of the craziest Jax players Jax. we have in the league. And I can't wait for it. It is going to be a good time, in my opinion. I'm sending out the first invites out to the players right now. That means Kitty Khan and Kash Smokes. Good luck to both of you. And of course, thank you for playing in our events. Thank you for supporting us here on our journey as a. Are we allowed to call us professional tournament organizer, Avil? Can I say that? Should I just I think say we can say that, Rips. Should I just you know say what, tournament? Rips? Today, we're going to be completely professional. No. no. Yes. Okay. And I have my microphone on. So. Yeah, Abel, you have to mute it because I can already hear through my controller. Uh, can I turn that off somehow? And now the players are in the lobby. The match is starting. Kitty Khan versus Kush. And what characters are we going to see? Okay, now it's muted. There's actually an option for that. What do we see from Kush? Hovering over Terminator right now. Is it time for the mix machine? Terminator. And it is able. That Rips, what button is that to toggle full screen? Um, it is... Uh, I don't know what's called on the controller on the left side, Abel. The, the option button. Not the one in the middle. On the left. Where your D-pad is. On top of it. The small one. Oh no, it's actually pressing in the big button in the middle for me. Really? Yeah, because if I press the option button, it's gonna take a screenshot. Doesn't matter anymore because we have Cosmoke on Terminator. We have Kitty Khan on Kitana, of course. So much K. Kitty Khan playing Kitana. K, K, K. Wait, no, we don't say that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just realized it while I was saying it. Say, well, <laughs> luckily, we have. To, we are able to say that we are no native speakers. And do you see yeah. Cosmoke's already taking a nap there on the ground? Cashbox is tossing is Kitty Rumble? around the map, Abel, <laughs> like there's no tomorrow. Already secured a decent life lead. Another throw. Bad Rips, you know those back in the days cartoons where the big guy just throws you from one side to the other <laughs> yes, side like the hog? Abel, I think that's what we just saw. Yeah, Cashbox literally just did that. Watch out for the teleport. There it is. Nice block on the mix. There is the forward throw. Kitty Khan, one touch away. One she needs to use that fatal. She somehow has to close the gap or, of course, go for the zoning approach. Oh, doesn't amplify again, Cush Smokes. But there it is. Shotgun full screen. Effective strategy. It worked out for him. Round, man. I'm, over, I'm always happy when we see some Terminator action on stage. We see people get mixed. Go throw from Kitty. And now it counts. Keep that pressure going. Good stagger. Nice. You know, Evil, back in the days, we could always say, you know what, just don't Terminator out. His projectile is super, yeah. super bad. But after customs and after that teleport, the matchup charts completely changed for that character. You guys need to know, back in the days, Cedron was the biggest nightmare for Terminators. They hated her so much. Oh, what a call out. Mm. But since he has a neutral teleport now, keep that in mind, neutral teleport, what is, what is pretty insane. Um, yeah, even second players now need to watch out in neutral. Man, Kitty Khan nice really poke. playing some mind games here by holding that stance for such a long time. Yeah, you can basically say Kitty Khan is playing more Melina than Kitana. Caught him Ooh, with the low, good there. hit confirm, and that is gonna do it. 1 1, everything tied up again. Final round, fight. Man, I can't wait to see stuff that Kitty Khan will do in MK1 with the new character. Yeah, Kitana Khan. Uh, Kitana Khan. Kitana <laughs> looks great in MK1. Lot oh, of yeah, combo potential. So some dirty traps on top. Oh yeah, that trap move looks really interesting. And I gotta say, even though I'm not a big setup guy and I really hate playing with a setup, the trap not going away on block is so huge. 
so I'm really happy for the Katana players. But anyways, talk about happy. I know who's happy right now. Kash smokes because there is he, there he is grappling his way to victory. And he has the life lead, even though it's only a minus one. And we see Kitty trying to bring this back with a little bit of zoning. There's the teleport. And a lot of back jumps. And that Kitana jump is so floaty, Abel. Very hard to enter air, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it didn't watch his dome damage over time. He has the fatal blow. We are one touch away. Pity. Will we see the sub zero Pity. classic? Do we see the forward two Abel? Is it time for that over? There's the teleport. The raw fatal, but no punish on it. Oh, Kitty was just a bit. Oh my god, what a teleport! <laughs> Such a smart move! Oh man, this is Kitty. already a spicy one. Here in the beginning, I see 100 people in the chat cheering for both players. Thank you guys so much for being here. First round, going to Kitty. Yeah, I agree, Regina. Everybody who rejects Mommy in the next title should be timed out. What is that mask from from Kitty Khan? <laughs> Kitty Khan to... is fully dripped out, Abel. Jesus, <laughs> that scared me. Kitana. The and Kashmok's not switching. We believe in the power of Mix in set number one. Lost Hive of the Kaitin. Man, Rips, I'm so. You know what is like the most interesting thing for me? Tell me. MK1 comes out, right? Yep. And we have all the classic characters come out, right? Yeah. But now, if you think back, we had MKX, horror characters, Fight. guest characters. Yeah, we have right. MK11. Action hero movies, Terminator, Robocop, Rambo. What will be the next for MK1? Will we see superheroes? I, yeah, I, I think so. I think so. Oh, I mean, with superheroes, super villains, of course, like the Joker. I mean, they gave us a little tease with the Joker and Spawn. I gotta say, Rips. When you think about MK11 guest characters, Smoker. Yeah, uh, Smoker, Joker, and uh, Spawn really came good. Like, people really enjoyed those characters. Yeah, and, so. and I agree with that. I think the design from both of them, Joker and Spawn, flawless. They nailed both of them. Yeah, so it, it would be so cool if you get Round some super evil uh, anti-hero characters. I would love that. Wait, is that a KB? Yes, we are running oh, the entire right distance, the and Kuchi. Bulk would say ride right in the Lady Garden. Oh, yeah, I said Kuchi. I think mine is a bit better because Lady Garden sounds a bit, you know? Although I don't know, Kitana is over 1,000 years old. The block, no punish. He decides to just go for the side switch with the teleport. Caught by the low and right into the tummy tummy evil with that stinger. I hate you. <laughs> But yeah, like I said, right in the tummy tummy. But you know what Kirsch says right now? Right to the dome dome. <laughs> oh, air to air. Can't connect it. There's the overhead. Oh, but Kitty both said, you know what? I'm gonna armor through that. Man, Rips. I saw the forward two fatal from Car Smokes. I saw the wake up fatal from Kitty. Kitty did the right decision right there. She didn't want to take any risk. Great call out. And now we're going to see a close-up of that mask again. There. Damn, she looks scary. I love the, uh, love the color theme, though. Kitty shows. Yeah. I think it looks great. That's also one you know, big thing. A, a oh. little bit arena-inspired, right? Able dark gold. I see, I see. Maybe that was her plan. I'm interested how to customize it. Did any did I say anything about customization? I don't think so, right? Not yet. No, nothing's confirmed so far. But Maybe the most important thing change. is uh, Kitty on match point looking oh, yeah. for the sweep here versus Kash who is still not switching. I always respect that. You, you know what I find most interesting? Kitty being so so confident in this matchup. Every time I see a Terminator, I just crumble. <laughs> yeah, I'm always scared as well. Fight. I mean, the mix machine himself. But Kitty always abuses that back jump. A lot of zoning clean with punish, but just this sweep here, Abel. Just sending a statement. I mean, 
even though not many users do this, the back jump motion or button or direction you can do is such a good neutral tool, right? You're setting kind of neutral there. You don't put yourself in any risk. So Let me do it again. KB incoming. Right into the Gucci. Yeah, and that KB actually does a lot of damage as well. 33%. Oh, yeah. And that's coming from a command grab. Ooh. Oh, wait, the teleport whiffed, and that looked like an input error from Cosmos. That looked like a Kung Lao dive kick. Mm. Looking for that oh, overhead, yeah. gets the throw. Yeah, he got a duck there. Or mash down too, that works as well. Do we see another oh. random fatal from Kitty? Do we see it? I smell it. There is the hit confirmable, yeah. and we go right into it. And I think that is going to be enough. It do doesn't go into ascending for anything else. Just goes straight into the fatal smart decision. It's his death. Mm, and Kitty, Rift said, on. A match point. Looking for the sweep. A dominant performance so far. Ooh. And the chat already saying let her cook. I mean... I don't know what Kitty had for breakfast, but that breakfast was damn good. Whenever you, you know what kind of breakfast they have over there in America. Oh. Some tasty oh. stuff. You, you know, some oh. juicy pancakes in the morning, oh. Abel. Oh. I just got one kilo extra just from hearing that, Rips. Yeah, Abel, same. While we are sitting here with air for breakfast. Yeah, while Abel and me are on a diet. But hold that side switch, back throw. Right into the cry time crystal. What can she do with it? Kitty tried it. <laughs> it American it reset. American reset. It was a classic. Oh, the reset. I like it. One touch. Nice. Interrupts her. Forward pro. Cash smokes. Will we see the teleport? Will we see the forward to fatal? It might be time rips. The teleport. Kitty is insane. Not well, but Press this cash is quicker. Tries to go for the low. Can't get it. A lot of zoning coming your way. Teleport. Good block. No fatal level. Oh, and Kitty with the poke <laughs> and takes it. And Kitty Khan with a very, very solid performance here in match number one, securing a W in the last qualifier of season 14. Congratulations, Kashmoks. Thank you so much for playing here today as well. What a match, Avel. And Kasha is saying Fatal didn't come out. GG's. It was a beautiful match regardless. We appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for being a part of the arena. Of course, not only you guys in the chat, but to all the players as well competing here on a daily basis. So let's have a look what's next, Abel. And I see two absolute sweats on the lineup card. Because High Caliber Warriors, they are taking over today's bracket. We have three of them. And you all know Ooh. what it means when that clan tag is in front of a name. It is a guaranteed sweat set, Abel. Oh, definitely. Versus Wolverine as well. Ooh. Um, I I'm just a big guy for uh, everything that has to do with orange and lemons, right? Because I, I eat lemons as well, right? And I love Fanta. I just love it. Sprite? I don't know, every time I drink Sprite, it always comes up, you know what I mean? You, you, you like know what, what I love as well, Abel? The good old Schweppes, you know? <laughs> but oh, I don't know, yeah. I don't know if anyone out there in the chat knows that. The Schweppes? Yeah. The good old Schweppes. Yeah, that's also... Tonic, uh, tonic in general is yeah. also really good, yeah. Okay, but Abel, the match is starting. We see the characters we expected. Collector, Raiden, both on the mains. Crazy combo goes for the setup. Overhead. With, oh, with the last oh, hit, Abel, oh, he actually still got him. What? Oh, that was the smartest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god, my brain just got exploded. This man just teleported out of the pressure. And Abel, I told you that Xutex, whenever we have him on the stage, this man is pressing. Oh, what a weird punish. Goes for a combo here. 29, looking for that air to air. Still got the flawless block somehow. 
all those teleports. I'm dizzy. Good on nice. Yes, oh. yes, right. Got the reward, but dropped the conversion. Excuse me. Yeah, Blue Green trying to bring this back with Frost Jump over that forward one. Yeah, was a beautiful jump over. He you gets the, the full combo. Out, I think he's not. He's going for. Uh, yeah, there it is. Just I mean, he's still cashing out, Rips. What a call out. No, that wow. Was good. Yeah, that was beautiful, but wait. Did you... <laughs> he even meeting with a down one so he can catch him out of the phaser blow. But it doesn't the matter. Emergency. Oh, wait. 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 Oh, he would have died if he blocked. Chat, it is getting spicy in here. The tiebreaker special. And both players, they are going in. Beautiful combo. <laughs> Hit him twice in the face. Forward one doesn't believe. You know, I gotta say, Sutex, whenever we see him on the stage, reminds me a little bit of Rotha by the way he plays right now. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, those cancels and then into the projectile cancels. Beautiful performance in round number one. And that means Sutex 1 0 up. Yeah, in general, when it comes to Raiden, you see so many different playstyles. You have Hody who goes crazy on those cancel and teleports. You have Rofa who plays more around the neutral and mid-range spaces, you know, goes for more projectiles and kind of all this kind yep. of stuff, right? And then you have players like Sunner who go more really crazy on teleports as well, right? And like then people like the Mighty and Joss who play the lamest Raiden in, on Earth, right? <laughs> yeah, there's yeah, it, really it's a incredible. lot of different playstyles with that character. And I'm happy that we have so much diversity Raiden. in the arena. Hopefully the finals are going to be diverse as well. Let's see Evil, what characters we're going to see. But I see Silent in the chat with the first time message. And how is it possible that Silent joins us here? And he has already subscribed, Avil. What kind of ridiculous support is that? Silent, That's welcome terrible. to the arena. Thank you so much for being here. I see Razor as well in the chat over there. You guys are amazing. Thank you for the support. And now let's have a great stream together. Round one, fight! Your Lord C, welcome. All those teleports. Nice throw. Uh, uh, you gotta watch out because Raiden has that beautiful teleport. We just back jump. We're playing a little bit of neutral right now. There's the back one two conversion. Huh? Well, he tried to go combo. crazy with the double amplifier there with the storm cells. Didn't work out. Yeah, he delayed his jump for, uh, uh, forward four a little bit. Oh, nice punish on the thunder. Gets another opening. Yeah, go straight into the special. I like it. Unbreakable. Yeah, I'm so happy about that as well. That we get breakers back, so you don't, you cannot get unbreakable damage. But talking about unbreakable damage, Sutix taking the round there. Round two, fight. Oh, what a way funny with the forward 1-1. One, one. Oh, straight into the flying man. Interesting. And Cosmo, Overhead. thank you so much for the first gifted sub here of the day. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. There is your plus one. Presses on it. Beautiful choice. Teleport, teleport, teleport. That's a Oh, already spent the KB, so no KB for him. There is a sweep. Oh, that was just out of range. Sutix, a bit lucky right here. Big with no with punish. Teleport. There it is. And Sutix, very, very dominant so far in this match. Makuran, our Scarlet God in the chat saying hello as well.
And look at Scotty <laughs> saying this Raiden is relentless. Holy smokes. Yeah, Exotics is crazy. And this is still only an appetizer for one of the most important matches of the day, which is going to be after that one. MK Javier versus Prodigy. Really? They're going to fight for the spot in Grand Finals. Yes, you will. Exactly. The loser is going to drop out and the winner is in. That's how close this is. Yeah. What well, don't know. Something funny, Rips. You know Raiden's teleport, Director. right? Yeah. When sometimes they go teleport into teleport, right? Yeah. And I always thought, damn, those Raiden players must be so quick with that input. And then I then I just realized you just amplified so he does it twice. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and I was in the they, lab. They spam it? I actually was in the lab. I was like, holy smokes, how did they do it? And I managed to do it like once, right? They teleported the teleport. I was like, damn, that's not easy to do. <laughs> and then I went through the move list and it said amplify. And I just did it. Oh my God, they just amplified. I'm so stupid. Yeah, that's right. And Holly in the chat saying hello, Rips. Hi, Avil. Holly, what's up? Thanks for being here today. Potential last round, Avil. Exotics looking for Fight. that speed run. Well, Tigress, who cares because in MK1, every move is one slot. Okay. What a proto. Did he try? Did he amplify on purpose or did he just misclick? I'm not sure if it might be. Dash up back two. That is so ballsy. Do it again. Oh, I thought he got a flawless block right there and sweat on us. The jump in. Really delayed. What a power two. Jesus, that went so far. Down four. Oh, but that wasn't max range forward one. That's a Got punish. And do we see both bars? There it is, Abel. This time he gets it. 35%. Interesting combo. Yeah. I don't know if that is optimal, but it looks swaggy. The opening, Wolverine, still showing some signs of that life. And that is going to cost him a lot. Unbreakable damage, 27 to be exact. What are all those teleports? Hey, I, I lost go track. I got a little bit dizzy here while watching this. Man. Ah. Jesus. No, two, two ticks. What two ticks the reasons. hell? What the? Bro. Bro. <laughs> Your time has passed. No, able to get him out. Get him out. Xutix disqualified from the arena for too much swag. Nah, you're out. I'm sorry. Xutix, I, you know what? I just removed your name from the rankings. <laughs> no, Xutix, you are out. That was a little bit too much. Look at the chat saying, damn. Just like in old days in schools, Xutix. Go to the corner and put some shame on yourself. <laughs> the double back too. That was so good. And look at this combo. And it's not easy to do, by the way. No, that was actually 100% swag. A beautiful match. Wolverine Xutix. Thank you so much for playing here. And Marco is saying, what is Xutix rank in the league? You know what, Abel? We're going to take a look. If it's not top six, if it's not top twenty, I'm not gonna look. Yeah, but I'm, <laughs> I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. I think Sutix. I don't know how many sets he played, and right now it looks like that he is not in top sixteen. Unfortunately. I mean, let me check right now. There are the PC rankings. Yeah, but you guys can already Stop. see it is very very close here in season 14 but now I there Sutix number 45 only played with today five sets one free of them I see but now everyone in the chat 
Put your freaking seatbelts on. Buckle up. It is time for the most important match of the day. And that means MK Javier versus Prodigy is humble. The blockbuster set. The qualification set for the grand finals. Because I hate to say it. But the loser of this set is out of the tournament. And the winner is going to be in the finals next week when there is so much on the line and i always feel a little bit bad Avil, when we are in the position that we have to tell players you know what unfortunately you can't make it anymore after six weeks of pain let's say it how it is playing in the arena yeah. is pain so many difficult matchups so many great players and all eyes on them prodigy is here we are waiting for mk javier to show up what matchup do you expect, Avil? Do you think we see Scorpion versus Kung Lao? I, what does Prodigy play again? Kung Lao, Kung right? Kung Lao and Gears. Both of them on a very high level. I mean, versus Scorpion, I can somewhat smell the Gears pick as well. I mean, yes, because Scorpion cannot punish the Sand Trap. Only if it flawless blocks it, but who in the Seven Heavens flawless blocks Gears' uh, Sand Trap? Yeah. So, Gears might be a good pick. Kung Lao, I'm not sure if the 2-1-2-1-2 string um, jails on Scorpion. I'm, uh, I don't know that matchup so well, so if they play Scorpion versus Kung Lao, it's gonna be a jump fest, Rips. It is, and the match is starting. Both players are here. 85% of the chat believe in the power of Carlos, aka MK Javier. Let's get it. Thank you guys so much for being here, and I think both of them are a little bit nervous. Gears. And there's the Gears pick. Okay, I like it. I mean, Gears or Ferris, how we <laughs> like to call it. Tournament. Who is gonna take it? Yes, Dan Match is doing it right. Can we get some AOs in the chat? Let's cheer for both of them because they deserve it. Round one. Fight! That was so heavy delay that Prodigy actually poked out of it. Oh my, what a duck was. I went for the Opti, and there's the shot up. Gears has a very quick shot up. Beautiful forward throw. Even though the range is very bad on his uh, short hop up three. Oh no, with punish. Minus two. Try to mash, but Javier was ready. Oh, another throw. Yeah. If you play Sand versus Sand Trap, Gyrus, you gotta be ready for those throws because they love doing them. What what is a one that? Out. Oh, no, but can't confirm. get the confirm on this. And wait, oh, Javier, he smells the comeback down two out of hell, securing the first round. You sure he smells the comeback? <laughs> he for sure smelled a fake fist in his face. Oh, nice. No punish, though. Oh, what a jump OS. Ugh. Goes for two bar combo. Javier. Back free. Getting the life lead, playing slow now, doesn't take any risk, smart decision, goes in though. Oh, that was so quick out of the short hop. Yeah, Fabia waking up a little bit, this is definitely his round right there. He kind of crumbled in the first round, but right now he's getting into his jam, into his move. Oh, tries to catch him off guard, but Prodigy. But wait a minute. Yeah, smart decision doesn't spend any bar. He still has the biggest life lead ever. But the next hit, he gets uh, hit by rips. Oh my god, wait a second, what happened? <laughs> that was a very hard read. There's a power pro. Garrus cannot kill. Even oh, wait. Able. And this is a lot, Abel. This yeah, is because actually it's a lot. Uh, because it's a choke. If this oh, was all no, Garrus, he would have killed. Not quite. Jesus. Not quite. The sand trap. <laughs> <laughs> Prodigy. 
with one of the craziest comebacks ever. Didn't give up. He always believed in his gears. Hit him. Man, Ava, th this is exactly what I'm talking about. These players, they are crazy good. And remember, this guy is not even playing with command grab. Man, I am nervous. I'm happy that I don't have to play here. Cyber Play Assembly. Oh, most definitely. Alright, we go to the Cyber Linkway Assembly. Javier, I mean, this guy is fire and flames right now. Flames that was the smallest block attempt. Javier still gets the full convert after this. And I mean, he wants his revenge. Oh, that's a punish. No, Javier forgot about it. Nice. Huh? Huh? Yeah, that's gonna hurt into the sand trip. 40% chop his neck. <laughs> what was that special effect, David? Uh, you know me. So. Oh, there's the opening. Back one after that back dash worked out. Oh, uh, dear, excuse me that I ever doubted Javier for one second. Man, whenever scorpions are able to do that standing for enter air, you know they are sweats. You just know it. It rips anytime anytime I see a character anti air with outstanding one. I'm impressed. You ever saw Johnny anti air with back two? <laughs> that is hella sweaty. The overhead connecting, there is a spear buff, Javier. Oh, nice call out. Overhead, nice straight though. Ooh! That was beautifully yeah, that, done for Prodigy. The confidence as well, because it would have KB. They wake up, gets it by low. Javier spends the bar, of course. This is big. He has the meaty. A plus. Goes for all the strings in the world. Cards him with the ender. Nice tech. Overhead. We are one throw, one mix away, and there is the mix, there is his head! <laughs> and he takes the head off. Scorpion. One, one. We have a match, and this is so important for both of them. Man, two phenomenal players. I wish that we would see both of them in the yes. Grand Finals next week. But, Abel, there can only be one. Coliseum Beast Pen. And look at Zesquil sneaking into the chat because we have Scorpion here. Holly, thank you so much for having Zesquil's back with the gifted subscription. Means a lot, guys. Fight. Oh, what an anti air gets to pick up. I love seeing those from Garrus. That looks so smooth into the sand trap. Rips. 35% from an anti air. Jesus. Like Garrus hurts like a truck still. We're not talking about truck coon. We've got Shimid. Oh, oh right, the down two. Didn't hold down the down yeah, two button though, so no clippy. Jesus, that's gonna hurt. Ooh. The short hop, one mix away. I'm gonna call it over. And what the fuck? This man is the biggest bolts on earth. Round two, fight. 
wish my throws were so crazy. Nice tag, Javier. <laughs> they confirm. Will he break? Nah. Uh, Scorpions with cancel. They never break. They no, want that cancel. Yeah, they want that bar available. I mean, it's the main reason, uh, like the main key system behind their playstyle to keep themselves safe. So it makes sense. It's kind of like Orbital Head Kung Lao. They also never break away because they need that bar. Yeah, that is a good point. Nice hold throw again. And so many of them in this particular round, of course, extra damage thanks to the buff. Mm. Oh, wrong button right there. There is it this time. Body splash him. What a whiff punish. Didn't believe though. Oh, both one touch. There is a fall throw. Javier, he has the mix up now. What will he do? There is the overhead. One more. Will we see a throw? What an edge here. Oh, there's the breakaway, but this is close. This is close, and he goes for it. It wasn't, it wasn't even guaranteed right there, Rips, because Prodigy had both bars. He just and went they, for it. Yes. Javier, he would have died. Damn, Javier with the big balls play. They both want to get into that top 16, and they're both sweating right now. 2-1 lead. MK Javier on match point. Right now, the most important match point for him in Season 14. Now, the question of the questions are, Rips. Are we gonna see a character switch to Kung Lao? Or is he gonna stick it out with Garrus? It looks like it. We're hovering over Kung Lao as we speak. Kung Lao. And interesting variation right there from Prodigy. He goes for the bus saw. Not the variation I would pick versus Scorpion. I would pick Orbital Head, definitely. But if Prodigy can make it happen, go for it. We have Possessed Head, we have bus saw, and Javier, he gotta watch out because... I don't know who's shivering more right now, Javier or Prodigy. Round one, fight. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. The bus saw always a risk versus Scorpion because he can teleport immediately. So he gotta play it smart with that move. Alright, yeah, we see a little bit of full screen play right there because nobody Javier knows it. When he gets close to Kung Lao. It's a never-ending story of pressure, and he just wants to keep it safe. Play around neutral, play around his range, make him with stuff. That is Javier's place there right now, and it's so smart. Gets him with the bus saw, but this is good. This is okay for Javier. He can take a little bit of chip damage. Nice block. Nice teleport cancel. Like I said, Javier doesn't take any risk. Plays the time. Plays it smart. Take your time. There's a spear out of nowhere. Prodigy doesn't. Uh, Prodigy doesn't look at the screen right there. And this is a lot of unbreakable damage. Oh, yeah. Round two. Fight. Nice dive kick. There's a set of boss or whips though. Javier with the jump over. What a flawless block. Break away immediately. 1-1 one, one catches him but gets thrown to the ground. Forward throw. Now what will Javier do? Will he go in? He goes in. Basso sets it up. Perfect punish. Oh, it drops it unfortunately at the end. What a huge prodigy. He needs it. What kind of setup is that? He has bars. Oh, yeah, this is bad. And this is really bad because Javier with his back in the corner versus Kung Lao. He got a teleport cancel right away, in my opinion. And there, and there, it, there is. it is. Yes, Abel called it all, <laughs> and that is smart. Oh, wait, I want oh, to shit on that spike. Okay, luckily it recovered. Again, doesn't watch the screen, and this is huge. Yeah, look at Javier, so smart, unbreakable, everything into damage over time. Oh. And again, this spear. Oh, the dive God, Prodigy. Right into it. Prodigy's health bar disappearing. Everything is falling apart. But I believe in miracles, Rips. 
Oh, that was a bad setup from the bus saw. Javier only gets a downward for punish, but yeah, overhead. This is looking pretty, pretty rough. There's oh. a teleport cancel there, so one, one, two. And I hate to be the person who has to say it, but unfortunately, Prodigy's journey in Season 14 has come to an end. A phenomenal match between two phenomenal players, in my opinion. And Evil, you know what that means. MK Javier, the Scorpion Mastermind, gonna be in the Grand Finals next week. Yeah, shout out to Prodigy. What an incredible run in this season, but yeah. The Master of the Scorpion, the Jalapeno, the Carlos <laughs> was the gatekeeper right there. Yeah. Pushes Prodigy out of top 16, puts himself into the top 16. Man, I, I still cannot believe that this is the last qualifier of season. Hey, Holly, I supported 100%. You get the video as well. <laughs> I, cannot, <laughs> I cannot believe that this actually worked, Dave. <laughs> I cannot believe that, <laughs> that people in chat are supporting Abel like that. Do you see Holly's message, Abel? Yeah. <laughs> Holly, thank you so much. Yo, Mr. Black, have a great one, my friend. So Milo is here, Kagul, and Kagul, he is one of the craziest scorpions I've ever seen, Abel. This dude is pressing buttons straight out of Combat League. Man, if, if, if I think about it, what, what would I really buy with my first surgery? I have no idea. I need a new headset, you know? The one that I showed you that is really expensive? That would be dope. I mean, that would be a good cost, you know? Yeah. I think it's a better cost than the one you first set. <laughs> so, if, if, if someone in the chat wants to support Abel's first headset... <laughs> no, not my first headset, but a really good one that I can use. It's like a headset that you can use simultaneously on PC and PlayStation, so that's kind of cool. What a flawless block, by the way. That was pretty cool from Milo. I love the variation name. Rip, rips off the eins. That means rips on top. No, that means rips number one. And Holly with another gifted in the chat. Holly, thank you so much for that. What a flawless block. Milo is sweating right now. Uh, one of our youngest players and what? Wait, what? Did oh. he flawless block that up three? Did he Did he hear my dream when Milo was like, Yeah, it's mine as well. Let me sweat. Wait, he's underage. Never mind. Milo had probably some chocolate chip cookie uh, sweetener <laughs> with strawberry ice cream, you know? This kid is on sugar right now. He is on sugar. I'm not talking about the white stuff, I'm talking about the real sugar. He ate a lot of candy, probably. In the back three doesn't direct though. Okay, okay, excuse me. This kid is crazy. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. really increasing the pressure. Good tech as well, the double flawless blocks left and right. Bro, Milo, relax. Oh, the flawless block. Milo oh, is crazy. That doesn't, that doesn't work. Joker. He is not a Joker player and not a Joker main because everybody knows dead whiffs. Final round. Fight. Uh, oh, oh, it's yeah. a punish for one, two. Four, two. One of the best punishers in the game. Man, whiffs everything goes so far and saying that's like the best mid, like around close mid-range button you can have to punish things, right? Yep, I think so. It is way quicker than Kotal's forward two, for example, yeah. even though that is a mid. But yeah. for a high, it is a very quick button. 
mean Joker in general in that range, standing two, forward two, just the standing two as we see right there. Really good button and Milo showing off that crazy Joker. One the Joker And for everyone in the chat who loves to see here young Milo going crazy on the sticks today. 8 p.m. On the sticks. <laughs> Eastern Time on Tigris channel. You know what? Let's give Tigris a little shout out here. So everyone make sure to follow it. Tigris and me are gonna host another Windy Sky Temple and it is a birthday special. Fujin only. And I'm gonna stay up extra late chat. It's gonna start at 2 a.m. my time. And I'm gonna be on the mic with Tigris together. We have an insane bracket. Ridiculous players. NA, EU, CIS, even a little bit of Middle East in there. That means the entire world coming together to play some Mortal Kombat on Tigris channel. Don't miss out. So if you're awake, I want to see you guys there. Make sure to follow the channel. Thanks for being here. 1 0 Milo. I heard you're also gonna play in that tournament, Rips. Yeah, I'm gonna. Because some, some asshole signed me up. And it was oh, you. Who is that? What? Blasphemy. Even though I don't even play food. Hey. There is nothing hard about doing a string into wind put rips. You got this. You know what you should do, Rips? Fuck the rules. Just show up with Shao Kahn. <laughs> the Tigers, can we make a special rule for me? The Fujin only tournament with the ball Shao Kahn. <laughs> Imagine. But so many flawless blocks again. And Milo, he learned from his mistake. Yeah, but it would be uh, you know Tigers of course says no rips because what is better than seeing rips and Shao Kahn? Rips and Fujin. I mean that's the dream from Tigris. Talk about a dream. Hello, no kids for joke uh, for Scorpion. Jesus. He just busted his balls. Yep. <laughs> yep. Fight. And he copped in his face. Hey, but do you realize that today we only had sweet so far? Oh yeah, no, yes, no, you're lying because Prodigy took a round. Wait, did he? Yeah, he took the first round. No, but, but overall it was still a 3-0, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it was really yeah, quick. That, that's what I mean. You know what we just want to do? We want to break the... What, was it yesterday or two days ago? The stream of Hody? What is really quick? What is all to read? Milo, excuse me! This is death rips. We just want to break the record of the fastest stream ever. Milo, the young prodigy. <laughs> the Holly is saying subscribe to our only sweeps chat. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, we have some Milo fans in the chat. Go Milo, go, go, go Milo. That's but the thing Milo's, he is in his Milo's head right really now. Delivering. One chance to bring this back, and the reversal 3 0 is needed. Hey, who needs to tell you for some medicine? Oh, you guys. I mean, Rips, at this point, I mean, I don't even want to read the comments of this. Uh, of this. Um, this stream today again on YouTube because I already see Tony comments saying, Is Avil okay? Does Avil need medicine? <laughs> Avil is some kind of idiot. Yes, I'm an idiot. But I don't need medicine. Thank you. Okay, there's the death spin. Cargo looking clean. A little more tigers. Anyways, Milo! Will he make a combat? Oh my god, what a cancer. What a drop, though. Did he manage to understand? He jumped too. He jumped again and no punish. I am just 
baffled right now. That block gets hit by the overhead though. And how did he get hit by the overhead? Rips, he did forward four into over into overhead. How? The follow up of the string is an overhead anyways. What kind of setup is that in your mind? Let me go for a low overhead, but let me just do the low and then another overhead. Ooh, that was a clean confirm. I agree, Holly. I agree with that. I just need one of. I just need the sugar. What a jump! Oh, Milo wants to keep this sweep. Will we see a big comeback? Wake up! What a grab! He's gonna bust his nuts uh, again. Uh, uh. Don't tell me he brings this back. No. And cargo, do we see it? There it is! Down to brutality, still one of my favorites in the entire game. We are on the board. Oh my god, I just want the best person in the chat, Emmanuel. <laughs> you know what, that meme rips? Why do you say it like that? Yeah, you don't you don't know that meme? Yeah, like, uh, where this guy is sitting in the car and he's like, Scorpio. people always tell me I'm driving manual, manual. I'm not driving manual, I'm driving Emmanuel. <laughs> and he puts like a sombrero head on the on the shifter. Cool That's so funny. Evil, you always forget that I'm old. Yeah. I don't know all these memes you, you young people are talking about. But now we are one round away from the first game five of the night. If Cargo can make it. Round one. For Milo bringing the big sword. That's well. The big sword. That's what they called me back in my days. This brings back memories. Oh, I'm tearing up already, Rips. Remember the start of the stream where I said we're gonna be professional? Well, I kinda, I kinda fucked it up. Mm. You know what I love the most about Searing Rage Scorpion Rips? They combo do so much damage, and I just oh, yes. love the forward free string into the overhead spear move. Looks so stylish. Uh, he just uh, don't want it to come and grab. Drink a little bit of ju juicy juice. <laughs> what a flawless block. Th this kid is flawless blocking everything. I swear to God, when he wakes up in the morning, when he cracks his back, he even flawless blocks there. He makes sure he's gonna hit it like flawlessly. What the heck? Excuse me. Folks are in the room. Milo, on match point. Round two, fight. He dashed right into the spear. This man just... This man just jumped in his Ferrari and just run, ran at Kaggle. Ooh, the death spin. Ooh, doesn't drop. Lucky person. Gets him with the low, doesn't believe though. There is a jump in. Milo with the side switch. Wake up down too, we like it, there's a jump for us. Mulligan here. Hmm. Overhead, yeah, this is gonna look bad. There is a death spin. Milo knew it as well, tried to jump out of it, but Cargol was just fast enough. Fight. Rips, are we gonna see a game five? I hope so, I'm ready for it. I have my finger on the button. Blood, blood, blood. There's the overhead. Mm, the command grab. Drink a little bit of that scorpion juice. Yes, they get the pick up. That doesn't amplify it. Oh my god, Rips. He just wake up for 3 KB. Nice force block. Goes for the trash can, but Milo was ready for it. Oh, oh, yeah, this is, this is yep, here comes the con cut. And Milo takes the. <laughs> With what? the triple down to. 
Milo wins this set. GG Subov. And it is unbelievable that this speedrun qualifier is already on the last set of the day. Made a saying GG's to both. But they will crazy JR and Starks. Last match, and that means most likely Sub Zero versus Jax. Even though Starks plays a lot of characters, but I'm curious what we're gonna see versus that nasty sub from Crazy J. Well, before we dive into MK1, Fight. in season 15, Prodigy, you have to. He's saying, of course, we love to hear it. But Starks, what is the start? Yeah, he's going crazy already on Crazy JR. Do you see the Jax drip here completely white? Yeah, that's that's like... He only boots are white, damn. <laughs> Man, he's completely dripped out. He looks like a, like a superhero. He looks like he's straight from the Avengers. <laughs> Even his gun is right, right. Able, yeah. Oh, but Sarx, I love that Jax pressure. That's the Sega command from he can kill if he wants. And Sarx, he just never drops those. And Stax is looking good. Almost gets a whip punish as well, but gets still the overhead. Oh, doesn't believe in his confirm though. There is it. Oh yeah, not too many hits, so it doesn't get the KB. He needs the full string to connect. There is a command grab as well. And crazy JR with the crazy jump. Oh Jesus, the damage. What just happened? Call the back dash with that forward two. I'm gonna smell it. It's like oh. Oh, it doesn't do that. It's just an ice ball. Uh, 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 uh. And the, ah! the forward Disgusting. Two. Final round. Fight. We got those flawless blocks. Crazy J firing on all cylinders. Crazy JR going crazy. I mean, gotta be honest, Rips, that looked so good for Starks, but Crazy JR with the comeback as well. Jesus. That second round, big combo from Crazy JR saved him the set. Yeah, I think so too. Starks, do we see a switch? Jax, Sub Zero. Sorry, Crazy. just tell me. Yeah. How hyped are you about being laid up at night hosting? 
I can't no. wait, Abel. I mean, commentating with Tigris is always a blast. You, you know Tigris' laugh, right? That contagious yeah. laugh she has. Yeah, yeah. That's the reason alone that I'm gonna stay up. I mean, for you, it's just another day watching Mortal Kombat 11. <laughs> I tell you, it's gonna be more like a peep show, a triple X show, you know? <laughs> with all those Fujins. I mean... It's gonna be some interesting wipes in that stream. Okay, but now Stark's increasing the pressure. I mean, you gotta, you gotta versus Sub Zero Rips. You just gotta do it versus him. If you may, if you let this character loose and do how he likes to do, I shake my hand. Yeah, and I see a lot of leg spikes in this set, unfortunately. But nothing we can do about it. But what was that combo? What an air to air tries yeah, to catch him still. It. Nice forward throw. Alright, Starks. He can make this happen, Rips. I believe in it. JR gotta watch out though. He cannot give him Fate Blow. Co oh, he gave him Fate Blow. It, now it's one touch. He gotta watch out. He gotta make sure he makes a sim. Will he go for another one? I knew it. Oh, that is so bold. Listen, listen. Oh, and I think he the didn't do it. Able, did you see the leg in the middle of it? Oh, it was so unfortunate. Oh no, and right now it looks like it lagged out completely. I finish him into GG's. Thank God we're red. <laughs> Desynchronized. Mm. Oh, wow. Blast. Okay, let's see. If the Kotal works out, I don't know if it's the right decision. I mean, every time I hear Kotal rips, it's never a bad decision. I mean, you know me, rips. For me, this character is top one. Yeah, I know. Kotal is very, very strong. Round one. Fight. Well, let's see how JR is working with that Kotal. Hmm. It worked pretty good, I gotta say. Yeah. I don't think this is gonna work out, unfortunately. Should I just play with one of them? No, we're gonna end it here. No, we're, we're gonna end it, Avil. Yeah, we're gonna end it. Better, better. So yeah, just like that. I'm very, very sorry because Avil and me, we definitely wanted to see that match as well. But this was the final qualifier of season 14. And Avil and me, we want to say thank you to everyone watching this. We're gonna update the ranking now after the stream. And with that, of course, I mean that Avil is gonna update the ranking now after the stream. And then we can have our final ranking and see which player actually made it to our grand finals. I'm curious. I'm hyped to see every single one of you next week. But of course, before that, another special top eight tomorrow. And don't forget, speaking of special top eights here, Tigris. Windy Sky Temple, today 8 p.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. CET. Everyone who is awake, I'm gonna meet you guys there. I'm gonna be on the mic. I'm gonna play in the bracket as well, and it's gonna be a good time. So see you there. Have a wonderful evening.